All right, uh, what we're going to revise is the effects that exercise has on the skeletal system to start with and also the muscular system. Now you can see here on the picture um, you have got both the positive and the negative effects of exercise on the skeletal system. Now what I've got listed below each is just simple facts. All right, So positive facts, negative facts, about the effects that exercise can have on the skeletal system. So you're going to need to know what those are first. You're going to be able to basically have to explain those facts. So those facts, sorry. So do you know what osteoarthritis is? Do you know what we mean by um, less stress placed on the skeletal system? Why does exercise um, have these resultant factors? Um, as I said, we're going to do muscular as well. So what you also need to be able to know is what's in the green box down the bottom. Again, be able to list some facts about the effect of a warm-up and a cool-down on the skeletal muscle. That's like bicep, tricep, quads, hamstrings, etc. Okay, right, now with the muscular system, which you've got here at the top, I've gave you some simple facts about what happens following exercise on the muscular system. You get hypertrophy. What's that? You get increased force of contraction. What does that mean? And you also get the thickening of tendons. And you're going to need to be able to explain that also. Finally, what you've got as an example, and again, was probably staying with multi-structural um, to start with here, is here's an example of a question about effects of exercise on the skeletal system. There's a simple factual question for two marks. All right, so describe osteoarthritis. So you're going to need to know what that is. We move into a more relational question where you've got to use that factual knowledge to explain and go into a bit more depth is how might um, physical activity either affect in a negative way or assist in a positive way the prevention of osteoarthritis. All right, so I want you to start to be thinking about that. So it's the facts up here then moving into a more hard or more difficult explaining type question. As you can see, that one's worth for four marks. Have a look at this before the lesson, and we'll be using this for the basis of the lesson itself. Okay, thank you.